just did to be part of the clan, right? Yeah, yeah. Storm just wants to be popular. We all do. Unless yeah. you think we should do the other one. No, 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 no. Yeah, this one, right? Yeah, that's what I thought. I don't know. You guys think it should be the other one? Yeah, yeah see, this is how the sausage gets made, you guys. Which one do you want first? This one or the other one? This one. Oh, this one? Yeah, this one. Good call. Oh, yeah, good choice. Good choice. I think this one sets up the other one. I think the other one has a, has a tighter out. Oh, totally. That's, it. that's what they say in the biz. That's what they say in the biz. In other words, yeah. we know the other one. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> this is the unrehearsed one. Yeah. Uh, hey, everybody. This is the first time this one has ever been performed in public. I sincerely, on behalf of the band, I sincerely hope you feel that way when, when we are when we are done with it. This is another story about my wife. It's called Triple Word Score. My wife, Anne, is one of those Scrabble players who regularly scores between 350 and 400 points in a two-player game. I am one of those Scrabble players who is very lucky to break 150 points without opening the dictionary to find out if the collection of mysterious hieroglyphs laid out before me can somehow be assembled into a legal word that is slightly more complex than one you would find in a Dick and Jane book. <laughs> It's a little on the nose. <laughs> yeah, you're probably right. <clears throat> I do not provide even a nominal challenge. And where the average Scrabble player would experience something similar to fun while playing, I experience only frustration. Yet she insists that we play together. Making words is fun, she says. Oblivious to my failure to use all my letters, the Scrabble bingo, even once in the decade she has been making me play the game. But since she puts up with me describing everything in the world in role-playing game terms, for example, some asshole cast freezing cloud outside. Now I thought I would have picked up some resist cold with all my trips to the East Coast, but I just took one D8 ongoing, just trying to make it 15 feet and back to the garage, and I keep failing my saves even though I'm inside the house! <laughs> My people. <laughs> I loved how the applause started even before you were finished the rant. Well, yeah, because we've all done it. <laughs> Preach it, brother. Yeah. <laughs> this is a good place to do that. <laughs> <laughs> the very least I can do is provide some companionship while she makes me and the Scrabble board her bitch. <laughs> For several months, I had been able to avoid the humiliation of putting my scrabular impotence on full display, but they need to make Scrabble Viagra for guys like me. But when she asked me to play last night after dinner, her breathtaking beauty illuminated only by the twinkle lights on our Christmas tree. This was written around Christmas, by the way. I probably should have told you that. Back up, time machine. When she asked me to play last night after dinner, her breathtaking beauty illuminated only by the twinkle lights on our Christmas tree and the flickering glow of our fireplace. I failed to save versus charm, and I went directly to our game closet. I looked past games that would be fun for me to play. <laughs> Battle lore, Carcassonne, Guillotine, awful green things from outer space, Uno. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> hungry, hungry hippos. <laughs> Fill the beans, taxes. <laughs> Enslaved by her spell, I pulled Scrabble off the shelf and I took it to the living room. Our dogs curled up on the floor next to us as we began to play. Well, if you told me you were drowning, I would not lend a hand. We reached into the bag to see who went first. She drew an X. I drew an E. It was an unnecessary harbinger of things to come. She went first, taking a 20-point lead. 
I scored seven. A personal best. Four or five turns later, she made sexy for a triple word score, and I never caught up. It was a blowout. I was Custer at Little Bighorn, Faro at Kane, the Broncos in Super Bowl 24. I can feel it coming in <laughs> along. With about 20 tiles remaining in the bag, I saw a chance to draw within 40 points. I had Q-I-E-E-B after I'd played an ineffectual two letters for a humiliating three points. Now, if I drew a T, an N, or an R, I could play the Q on a triple word score, build off the U in feud, and make quiet, queer, or queen. But I know the reason why you keep this silence up. No, you don't fool me. I drew the T and I held my breath. Because Murphy's Law of Scrabble teaches us that with 85 potential places to play on the board, your opponent will always play on the one square that leaves you totally fucked. <laughs> The hurt doesn't show, but the pain still grows. It's no stranger to you and me. And put down two tiles off the F, making few and blocking me. <laughs> Are you fucking kidding me? I said. It's a bundle of sticks, she said. I know what it is. I said, but you couldn't have made the word wag, or tag, or nag, or hag. I pointed to four of the 85 potential places she could have played on the board. Are you guys really not going to do the big drum breakdown? You didn't, you didn't win. <laughs> yeah, but she did. I'm sorry, she said. Do you want me to play in a different place? Because it will be the same score. how it always is when we play games together. She's not competitive. She is blissfully unaware of my anguish as I attempt to match her score. She doesn't know that if she doesn't double my score, I consider it a significant moral victory. <laughs> no, I said, I'll find another place to play. I found it and I put my tiles down. Give me two points. She recorded my score. I noted, I noted that she wasn't doubling my score by only 10 points, and I resolved to close the gap. I failed. With only a U and an I to play, I was down by over 100 points, and I just wanted the game to be over. Okay, so I play the U here, and I make the word Vux, I said. What's Vux? she asked. Oh, you don't know? Um, that's what it's called when you suck so hard at Scrabble that you just make up a word so the game can be over. It's like my wife kicked my ass so hard I just went for the Vux. Here I am, the one that you Vux, asking for another day. She looked at me and slowly shook her head. I took the tile off of the board and I replaced it with the letter I. Vix, she said. Yeah, Vix is what it's called when you try to Vux and your wife cock blocks you. Like, I tried to Vux, but my wife totally Vixed me. Understand, the one that you Vux will fix you in so many ways.
She looked at me again and I laughed. I joined her. Look, I can see, okay? You are the ultimate master of Scrabble. She leaned over the board and she kissed me. Thanks for playing with me, she said. I love you. I love you too. Now, our gaming philosophy is really simple. It's not about winning or losing, right? It's about enjoying the time that you spend playing together. This is why Anne puts up with my fucks and I come back for more even when she fixes me. Thank you.